Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Tuesday, October the 12th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. Hello there, Scorpio. How are you doing this evening? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Got in the deck for Scorpio. Spirit. Ten swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the end of a very painful cycle. The only thing good about the Ten of Swords is things can get worse. Things are going to get better from here on in with a with new, honest, clear communication. End of a painful cycle. What is crossing this? The Fool. There we go. From beautiful brand new journey. Taking a leap of faith. He's got his bag packed. Got a guitar. Um, there's a butterfly here. New journey, taking a leap of faith. Aries energy, the fool. Beautiful. Consciously known. Four of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's my party card. Could be getting ready for a uh, dress rehearsal for a wedding, for a hand fasting. Um, this is, uh, talks about the increase in a level of commitment in a relationship. Unconscious. The tower. The tower. Tower has fallen. That's probably why you were in ten, you're in ten swords. Source spirit universe is striking down the tower. This is a cataclysmic change. But it has to happen. Tower was not built on a firm foundation. You need to rebuild on a firmer foundation this time. Recent past. The Six of Wands, the victory card. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's like you're famous. Um, you're in a parade. There's people on the sidewalk and they're, la they're clapping. They're cheering. This is the victory card. Near future, three of pentacles, there that is, building on a solid foundation. This is building a solid foundation with somebody. Could be work or could be you and your person. You're building a solid foundation. Where do you find yourself? The magician, the great manifester. I love the magician energy. What are you manifesting? There is a picture. There is a sword, candles, a uh, hand with an eye in it. Looks like a wand with a W at the top. He's got a wand, a crystal ball, um, cups, plants. You can manifest cups for love, pentacles for money, wands for passion. Swords for clear, honest communication. What are you manifesting? Scorpio, it's coming to you. External influences. The King of Pentacles. The King of Money. Pentacles are Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He's got his chest of money here. This person is ground and balanced, stable. A business person makes their own money, takes care of their money. The King of Money. Hopes and or fears. Ooh, the sun, Leo energy. Happiness, joy, bliss. Shines a beautiful bright light over the whole rest of your sp spread. There's the beautiful sun. We got birds, sunflowers, people playing guitar. Just happiness, joy, bliss. Overall outcome. Three of cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Three of cups. This is happiness, friendship, 
reunion. These three people are having drinks around the table. Friendship. Bottom of the deck, Santa Marta. This is the death and rebirth card. Scorpio energy. There is, the death is the end of a painful cycle. Where we started, the end of a painful cycle. But she is pregnant, so a new cycle will begin. The fool. Like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. The end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. The end of a painful cycle. Six of Pentacles equal give and take. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I like the skull. Pendulum. This is talking about equal give and take in a relationship. If you are working with someone on a relationship, you need to have equal give and take. That is what you're looking for. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Cups are Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Six of Cups talks about friendship, puppy love. Nostalgia, thinking back to a time when things might have seemed better, sweeter. Uh, but just remember that uh, sometimes we can look at three things through rose-colored glasses and imagine that they were better than they actually were. Nine of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Pentacles are oh Pentacles are money. This person is ground and balance stable, a business person, makes their own money, takes care of the money. Single because they want to be single. King of Pentacles, business person, Nine of Pentacles, business person. And we had the business business card. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. This is why there was a this is why. End of a painful cycle. That's why there was a tower. Somebody had you all fucked up in your head. It's talking about being bound, being stuck, being painted into a corner. The rider weight. This person figure is in the middle of a circle of swords. She's blindfolded, her wrists are bound. But she can at any time take that blindfold off. Use one of the swords on either side, cut those bindings, and walk out of there. You are not stuck. You are not bound. You are not painted into a corner. That is your mind playing tricks on you. So, the end of a painful cycle and a new cycle. Increase in level of commitment. The victory card. Working on a solid foundation. The great manifester. King of money. Happiness, joy, bliss, friendship, death and rebirth, equal give and take, friendship, nostalgia, business person. We had, so we did have, this is the end of a painful cycle. There was a tower, things had to fall. There may have been, I hope not though, there may have been three people in the situation. And we had death and rebirth, and being, thinking that you have been stuck Thinking that you are painted into a corner. Love cards. Pay attention to the red flags. These signs are cautioning you. You deserve love. You are lovable. Bottom of the deck. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Make sure. Make sure. Like I said, there might have been third party here. This was a painful... This was a painful cycle. 
until that tower fell. Death and rebirth being painted into the corner. Be very, very, very careful. Be very, very careful if some this person tries to come back. Because you are on a new journey. Increase in communication of the victory card. Building on a solid foundation. The great manifester. King of money. Happiness, joy, bliss. Equal give and take. Business person, you deserve love. You deserve you deserve love. Try not to um, entertain any reconciliation, in my opinion. All right, Scorpio, I will talk to you soon. Have a great evening. Bye for now.